G'day mate and welcome back to Factorio with me, JD. This time the phone is definitely on silent and I've come up with nothing. So I was hoping if I slept on it, some inspiration would hit me and I'd make a decision between the two builds and... Nope, I'm walking away. Um, we're going to go do red circuits. Because <laughs> that was my answer. Um, we're going to... I think I have a good idea for red circuits. I don't honestly know. Uh, I'm thinking... that we're just going to overdo copper cable like that put down a substation hell right there will do yeah hang on no that's got beacon coverage that's that's got more beacon coverage uh all that can go up a tile and then you need to come back down a tile Crafting speed of three. Well, you could have the extra beacons. I don't think you'd need them, but you know, you could have them. So. That's actually not too bad. So it uses one tenth of a belt. Uh, output could be a different question. Okay, so let's start with the simple things. So we're going to bring in. Do we do a merged belt or do we do two separate belts? Let's let's go to assume we're gonna use two separate belts. So let's bring let's use the stubs. Oh put the modules back in there. Stupid Minnesota. Uh Let's just make a short run, just just in case it matters to the inserters. Okay, so we're going to copy that side, paste it on this side. We're going to run belt between here and here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of half my red belt. We're going to cap you to one stack, paste, 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 paste. Uh, I need a belt of plastic and a belt of green circuits. Cool. I got a belt of green circuits right here. Pretty right. Your other right. Uh, for testing purposes. Yep. And then we've got a belt of plastic right here. And uh, we'll just underground a belt of radars. Yes, I have a belt of radars. Pretty right. Uh, so we need these chests to cap. The, they'll take a while to fill up. Then we need to get copper in here. Which actually... Actually... Like, nothing fancy, because it... Ooh, Let's run it over the whole thing. It uses, and it's overproducing. So it's only using about four copper. And she's probably using the exact same amount of copper as we are for green circuits and for uh, so we could do hang on, hang on, hang on. We could do a belt stub there. Do direct input, direct input. Output's a whole separate thing, is it? Where can I get a tile? I can get a tile there. If I put a substation there, move you down one, move you up one. We can have you output there and there. You don't get power. <sighs> What's my fix for that? Okay. If I move 
all of that up one tile. You now get power! That's still not going to work in the long run. Uh, I don't think I actually wanted you to have plastic. Yeah, might have been a little bit hasty with the cut paste, but um, okay. So where does that leave us? Power is going to be a separate thing. Is it? What am I going to do about power? Because this substation. Oh really? Oh, you mean? I'm not touching it. This substation reaches the next substation. Oh, hang on. So hang on. If I move that all back down one tile, because I liked it one tile lower. I don't know why, I just do. And then I just remove all that. We copy and we paste. So that powers that line, that powers... Yeah, that works. Okay, so I'm happy with that. All right, so we just need to get our output. Our output... Our output... Hmm, our output's all on one side of the belt. Is that an issue? Okay, let's go get copper before I get entirely sidetracked with the next problem. Uh, you can just underground over there and then go up and down and around and. We'll put it down a power here so you stop complaining and we'll tell you to go left. Your other left. Okay. Uh, and you need an underground to the row above, which can go right there. That works. Uh, which means to make it mirrorable, you go there. Okay. So we've done that. So all the outputs on one side of the belt and the output is no for two machines is 3.15 so that means after after what do we do we do 22 to, to a side of a belt so three so 6, 12, 24. 24 is a little bit over the top. But, you know, we, we, we're getting close. Uh, dump those, dump those. I actually think we recycle green circuits. On another note. Um, so I can run that like that. And we can go underground. It's going to be a lot of undergrounds. But that really doesn't matter that much. Okay, the only thing that matters is it's all sort of on one side of the belt. And we'll take it. Yeah, now it's on the right side of the belt, and we'll just take it there. So we've got a drawer on the system, a maximum drawer, to make sure everything physically works. It's capped, 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 capped. You have no needs or wants. Nope. No needs or wants. You're all happy. You're all happy. You're happy. 
You're happy. I'm not happy. I don't have speed modules. Bot, am I? Am I outside bot range? Nope. Am I outside speed? Do I have, have? Am I out of speed modules? That's probably a more critical question. Uh, there are zero speed modules. There are also zero speed modules. We've used every speed module in the base. Uh, I got one delivered. Yeah, we've used every single speed module in the base. And in fact, down here is still saying it needs another 500. Uh, we're short on speed modules. Even though this base is pretty much dedicated to making nothing as speed modules, our first rocket build has eaten all of them. Uh, and then some. So, all stats. Speed. Speed 2. 11,000. All gone. Uh, 6,000. 500 left. Okay. In that case, I'm just going to steal speed modules from here, and from here, and from here, and from here. And put in my one tile gap, build that back down, build that there, that there. Gimme, gimme. It's either that or I go raid a train. Okay. So. A two build gets us. So it's doing four and a half in. So we're up to nine and nine for probably only four and a half in. We're at 1.2. I really want to work out exactly. So I'm trying to work out exactly how much copper we're using. We do that by trying to get the exact amount of... So you're going to do that, and you do that, and you've got less speeds now. 0.7. Or 0 0.071 is how much we're behind. We now head by 0.3. Run again. That's closer. So we're doing about six copper in for nine and nine. So the copper belt will actually run longer than the uh, green circuits and the plastic. So, and the old build had a speed of 5.5. .5. These have a speed of 6.75. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on. Jedi had another thought. Uh, there. Yeah, I'm missing half the stuff. In fact, I'm now all the way down to missing actual beacons. Okay, go away. What happens if we did... Hang on, that goes there. That goes there. Get rid of this. This goes here. We put that in there. And then we rotate this. So, this has a speed of 6.75. This has a speed of not enough power. Aha! No, nope, still not power. Go. This has a speed of 7.375. Why is it wrong? It's wrong because this guy doesn't have a speed module. Gimme. Gimme! We're going to play the gimme game. Nope, I'm going to disappear to somewhere else. Gimme. 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 We done yet? I want them up there. Thank you. So now at a crafting speed of eight. Okay. 
Now that we've done that, you lot can all go away. Uh, there, 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 oop. There. That one, that one, that one. Those ones. Okay, which means I need an inserter there, an inserter there, a capped box there and there. So, to craft a speed of 8. Use 2.25, use 2.6. 2.667. So, again, full belt of 45 divided by 2.66666. Equals 16.8 machines. So that's the thing. We're always going to end up with a little bit of excess. And then we either have a machine that doesn't run at full speed. Or we just accept that we make the belt 16 long. And we don't have a machine that runs at this 16. Because these are done in pairs. So that would be the way I'd do it. Okay. So. You can go away. You can go away. You can go away. Alright, so we're doing... We're doing resource in, resource in. Then we need to make the jump. We can't make a jump that far. We're gonna go with maximum jumps for just now. You to there, you to there. So that means I've got to bring in copper from the edge to get into this machine. There's no other way around it. Uh, we're going for maximum jumps. So that's down to there. That's down to there. I can't jump. I can jump the red circuit from here to there. But I've got to go in and around. Okay, so let's do... Nope. I gotta work out how to get the red circuits out and one of these resources through. So if you go through there, then we do a bit of a belt squiggle at the end and a bit of a belt squiggle to get it in. Then we do red circuits out like that. Uh, sure. Copper cable comes in, or copper plate comes in here. Plastic in there, green circuits in there. Let's start plugging these guys in. Uh, you could be one of them. It really doesn't matter which one's which. Um, plastic can come through here. Uh, it's just easier to make spaghetti than it is to clean a belt. And copper. Can go. Rain and red belt. Power would be there and there. Uh, oh, JD's gonna have to clean that shit up. Great, you go away, you go away. So, plastic, ah, uh, you, oh, okay. No. No. Okay. So you're going to have to go down a tile. Uh, 
Yeah. How do I get that out? How do I get that out? Because I can't underground up. Oh! We should move all this over top. Hey! That was not nearly as hard as I made it out to be. So hang on. That can be moved over by a tile as well. And I've literally just made my life that much easier on myself. So, plastic comes in here. Green circuits comes in here. Red circuits goes out through lots of undergrounds. But, you know, such is life. And comes up here. Where's our... Turn the belt in the right direction. We're going to underground through there. Through... There. Into there. Okay, why are you not going? Did somebody put a bit of plastic at the end? Probably. Okay. The feed out builds. You don't have green circuits. What did I do wrong? I ran a belt the wrong way. Okay, your cat, your cat. We're on all speed modules now. You say five point. Oh, that's 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 a different number. Five point no. Clear all. Forty-five divided by five point three three. Three 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 three. Is eight. Oh no, no, it's still the same. So it's eight builds. I've still got all the red circuits coming out on one side of the belt. So this build, and I duplicate it eight times. So 3.7. So we do 3.733 multiplied by eight is 29. So it's more than half a belt's worth. A lot more. Yeah, because it's more than half a belt's worth, it means at some stage you're going to swap swap lanes of the belts. Okay, can I do that? You can go up a tile. You can go down a tile. I can, actually. I've got room right here for a split up. And we just go output priority left. Like so. It's with a splitter rather than a belt, which is less than ideal. Um, but every other combination requires three tiles. And I don't have three tiles. Even if I bring this in here. We're going to go... Yeah, I don't have room for three tiles to get it to change lanes. It's just too compact to build. So this works. And I can just force things to the other side of the belt. Not that it really matters. Well, it does, because I need it for max throughput. But this would give me 29 items on a belt. And then I have to merge this build with another build with another build to get the numbers I need. Or we go back to this one, which is the fire, fire. Yeah, let's change back to the machine gun. It does less damage. Or we go back to this one, which is nine and nine. So no, it is in a single use case. It is four and a half and four and a half, which makes three, which means 10 long, which is 30. Hang on. This one needs to be 10 long, which will give me 31. This one needs to be... Uh, 
Okay, I gotta do all that maths again. Because then I'm confused. 45 divided by 5.33333333. Multiplied by 3.733333 equals 31.45. Compared to this one, which would be 31.5. So it's essentially the exact same thing. It is. It's the exact same amount of resources in, the exact same amount of resources out. Except this one looks neater. This one, can I do the priority shift from one side to the other? Not really. This one I can do that. Can I do that here? No. How do I shift that lane? Oh. Um. Uh, like that. That's actually really easy. I was overcomplicating things for a while there. Yeah, that's really easy to have that one spot. Okay. But, back to maths. So, this is going to be... 2 by 10. So, that's 10 long. This would be by 8 long. So, this is 2 extra assemblers with a copper. So it's actually three assemblers larger. And we'll just bring up decon planner, do a count of inserters. So hang on, it's... So it's 13 inserters and three assemblers longer compared to... 15 inserters and three. I think we're gonna go for this build. It's neater, it's straighter. It's way less complicated. I don't have to run copper around the outside because it's just... And JD stops and JD thinks. No, no, there is still no way to get copper into this. Uh, if I zigzag that there... No. No, there's no way to get copper into this. Even if I went to small power poles don't see myself getting the coverage, even with the extra tiles here and here. No, I don't, I don't see myself getting copper on the inside of that. So we're going to go for this build. This is our red circuit build. This is an experiment that failed, but this is our red circuit build. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. We've got a red circuit build. We still don't have a blue circuit build. We're going to do green circuits in the next episode. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys for watching. Green Circus next. Yay! I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.